everyone, this is Glenn again of Pinoy Planetics and as of recording, hindi ko pa tapos buwiin itong Master Grade H2 normal. So, for this video, gusto ko sanang i-revisit itong Super Mini Pla Jet Eye Cruise from Jetman. At, uh, uh, kung nabasa niyo yung uh, written review ko sa aking Facebook page, uh, medyo mix ang feelings ko dito kasi yung plastic quality, uh, yan, kung nakapagbuo kayo ng mga 90s kits, Uh, medyo old school kumbaga although uh, yung katagalan after building this uh, at nakita ko yung final product medyo okay naman yung impression so gusto ko sanang gumawa ng video review for this kit so samahan nyo ako and let's find out if this kit is for you alright so let's begin with the jet hawk So, uh, isa sa mga naging issue ko dito, uh, yung sticker dun sa ulo, yung kulay puti kung nakikita nyo, tsaka yung eyes nya, uh, all of it is stickers. So, uh, isa sa mga uh, napansin ko sa stickers is hindi ka ano ding maganda, ang quality, madaling masira, madaling mapunit. Then, yung sa mga red parts, Uh, ginamitan ko ng Tamiya Clear Red para kahit pa paano hindi ko hindi mapansin yung pagka-chip ng plastic quality kumbaga alright so that's for the Jet Hawk for the Jet Owl uh, pretty good except for the uh, black part as you can see here uh, medyo may mga bad knobs sya so ginamitan ko sya ng matte black para ma-hide yung bad knobs Uh, all in all, this is uh, isa sa mga magagandang parts ng kit na to. Alright. Alright. For the Jet Swallow, wala rin ako masyadong binago except dun sa black part na to. Uh, ginamitan ko rin ng matte black to hide those knobs. And all in all, for a uh, very good impression for this one. Alright. For the black corner, uh, ginamitan ko ng matte black to hide those bad knobs. Uh, isa sa mga nag-issue ko talaga dito sa kit na to is uh, maraming bad knobs sa black parts but all in all uh, the stickers, uh, good stickers at uh, uh, it really adds detail to the kit alright uh, for the Jets one uh, same sa Jet Condor uh, I painted the black parts with matte black to hide the bad knobs Uh, the sticker, uh, not bad, not bad stickers. Uh, it really adds details to the kit. Okay, so next, uh, I'll show you the transformation. So let's start with the Jet Icarus hot can. All right. Oh, so this is the completed Jet Icarus Hacken. Uh, isa sa mga nagustuhan ko sa akin na to, very easy transformation. At uh, kung napanood niyo yung uh, Chojin Sentai Jetman, if you're 90s kid like me, then familiar kayo sa form na to. Alright, very nice. Okay, next will be the robot form of Jet Icarus. So this is the completed Jet Icarus in robot form. Uh, very easy transformation, like I said earlier. Pero uh, siguro isa sa mga drives ko, uh, yung ulo, masyadong maliit. Kung ikukumpara nyo sa TV version, uh, hindi ka anong skilled properly, kumbaga. Okay, 
So next, uh, let's go for the articulation of this kit. So let's go with the head first. Uh, no up and down motion. But uh, meron siyang side to side movement and it can rotate 360. Then the whole arm can also rotate 360. As you can see here, wala siyang forward motion as in zero. But meron siyang backward movement as you can see. Next, uh, uh, elbow joints, almost 180. Then the hand can rotate 360. Okay, the weird thing about this kit is meron siyang side skirt. Left and right, as you can see. And meron siyang front skirt movement. Then hip joints uh, and one thing about this is pwede mo siyang ipaba pa like this which is weird but uh, glad it's there then knee joints can move up like this Then, uh, feet articulation sa ankle joints. Pag binaba mo siya, as you can see, can still uh, move side to side, up and down. That's it. Okay, so for uh, the accessories, as you can see, tons of accessories. Pero uh, very plain. So, if you want to add more details, you need to paint it. But ako hindi ko nagagawin kasi uh, I won't be using all of them. And ito, itong sword na to, ito lang yung gagamitin ko pag dinisplay ko na siya. Okay. I forgot to mention yung wing ni Jet Swallow can transform into a shield. Show you how. Ito, itong peg niya dito kailangan tang uh, i-move up. Medyo mahirap siyang yeah, as you can see. Then, uh, pagkabit sa kamay, just need to put that peg on the hand. And that's it. Okay, for height comparison, as you can see on the right, uh, high grade 1 is to 144 Gundam Sandrak. And on the left, Master Grade RX78-2 version 2.0. So, at least may idea kayo kung gaano siya kalaki. Kung iko kumpara sa isang High Grade and the Master Grade. Okay, so for my final thoughts, first of all, if you're a huge fan of Jojin Sentai Jetman, this is a must-buy for you. And for the kit itself, uh... There's a lot of bad nubs. So, kailangan mong linisin talaga siya maigay para mas maging pristine, kumbaga, yung itsura niya. Then, yung sa gold parts naman, undergated, so no issues on that. Then, yung sa head, uh, fully painted na siya out of the box, which is very nice. Uh, isa sa mga nagustuhan ko sa kit na to is uh, very easy transformation and it really captures the TV version. Except nga dun sa head na medyo maliit siya ko iko kumpara sa TV version. So this kit retails for 2700 pesos. Nabili ko sa akin sa Great Toys sa May Green Hills. I don't know kung meron pa sila. Then uh, I think uh, para mas makomplete tong kit na to kailangan mong pilihin din yung Jet Garuda. I'm still looking for that one. But all in all still a nice kit. Uh, tulad ng sinabi ko, if you're a fan of Jetman, you're gonna love this. Uh, pero sa mga be beginners, di ko talaga siya marerecommend dahil ma marami kang kailangan linisin para mas gumanda yung itsura niya. Baga. 
Okay, so that's all for me. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, please uh, subscribe to my Facebook page and YouTube channel. And I'll see you on the next video. Thank you very much.